Hi. So this week I'm talking about diversity, equity and inclusion. And as I said yesterday, it's been a challenge that's been around for well over a decade. We've been talking about it, but it's been added to. The challenge has been lifted because in, in, as well as the identities of gender, religion, etc., that we often include in the DEI um, discussion, we're adding two more, those who work in the office and those who work remotely. And there's often been the looking down on people that work from home and they called it shirking from home. But now we're looking at the hybrid team where people have a choice to work remotely, work in the office and the combination of the both. But everybody has to be treated equally and everyone has to be included. And that's the new challenge for the leader of the hybrid team. And I'm calling that leader the inclusionary. And yesterday I talked about them being a conscious leader. Today I'm talking about them being connected leader. They reach out on a regular basis and connect with every one of their team, regardless of where they're located. They are connected through technology, but through human connection primarily. And they check that they're connecting with everybody and not allowing bias to creep in because of someone who's been their favourite in the past. So they keep a record of the connections they've made with whom for how long and how often. And if I look at my connection list and go, OK, I've talked to Barry far and far more times than I've talked to Sheila this week. Is that founded? Now, it could be because Barry is struggling with something in particular or has got a, a, a major project on the go. If it's founded, OK, but if it's not, then I need to remove whatever the barrier is for me connecting equally with every member of my team. So the inclusionary is the conscious leader and the connected leader. I'll talk to you tomorrow.